So all of these things are almost different different layers in your in your graph, and I think, you know, you're going to end up with a graph of graph approach where you have some security graph that is really informed by the assets and resources that you have that make up your digital estate. And then within that, a subset of that is going to be your attack graph, the attack paths that tell someone how to get from point A to point B and which things are possible traversal paths. Because if you think about like, you could have a database and that database could have cookies in it of, of, from sessions or users or whatnot. Those cookies are secrets sometimes that allow you to authenticate to other things. And so that's the security knowledge that can find and develop new edges in your graph. And then you'll have your incident and your threat intel graph. And, and we have an attack graph at Microsoft. This is, and you know, at the time, it 400 million nodes and a billion edges, and you expect it would, to be big in a company like Microsoft, and it is. But the thing I would point out is, look at the types of entities that are in there, right? It's not just the size. 100 different types of nodes, like an Azure Key Vault, 